Hi, today I'm going to be showing my top Cydia theme and tweaks. The first tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Hook's Law. This is basically an animation for when you're, you're opening, closing, or um, going to submenus on apps. For example, if I open and close my settings, you see it's a, it gives it a sort of bounce up. Also, when I go to submenus, it kind of shoves to the side, and kind of if you see the bounce effect, it's sort of hard to see, but it does give it a nice feel. For example, opening folders, quite hard to see, but if you have it, you'll you'll feel it when you're going around your eye device. Okay, my next tweak is called OXO. This is basically a multitasking tweak that when you go into your uh, multitasking, it shows you a preview of your screen of what the app's open. These ones aren't showing because they weren't fully loaded. Uh, also, you do get a, a more enhancement on the music uh, player thing. <laughs> um, you obviously you get the normal play uh, next track and last track and then you also if you press that button there gives you a preview of the artwork of the song that's playing if you slide again you'll get settings which are easily editable uh, here I've got my uh, brightness bar that I'm able to change also I've got here the airplane mode Bluetooth on and off uh, Wi-Fi and respring or reboot, um, I forgot what quite it was. You can change what's up on the settings part by going into settings and into OXO, which obviously there. Then go into configuration and then here you have all the settings that uh, you can display and um, you can obviously, you can have five, per, five icons per row that's obviously these here, I've only got four at the moment Oops. Uh, then obviously you can enable which page is first, so you can probably have the music one to pop up first or something like that okay, and then you've also got these which you're able to if I put this at the top this should be right at the top there as you can see so you can change the order and, and whether to hide these options or not. The next thing we can be showing you is called Barrel. Now probably a lot of you know uh, Barrel and it basically is an animation uh, which when you're going through pages on your um, home screen it gives you an effect. So here I've got um, outside of Cube. I'll show you the other They've recently put a couple of more in, like at the bottom, for example, Snake. I'm sure a lot of you know the game Snake. And as you can see, the icons go off in the way that when you go around the corner when playing the game Snake. Uh, I'll give you a few others. Carousel. Oops. All right. It's basically just not really the best one. I prefer the cubes, but there is a lot of different ones you used to have this one on but I've now just gone back to cube the next tweak I'm going to be showing you is called diet bar this basically shrinks the uh, bar that's, dis that's displayed along the top not the status bar here, uh, bars on say the apps as you see this is much thinner at the top so it allows more space for what's ever displayed on the screen um, if we go in here it's quite simple you just select OK or on for the apps you want it to work with so uh, if I go on to pictures as you see the the uh, top bar is a lot thinner than it uh, usually is without it. Okay, next we're going to be showing you is Now Playing. This is a notification widget 
that displays the song playing and also gives you some shortcuts to able to skip or go back or pause the song you're on. The next tweak I'm going to be showing you is called Zeppelin. This basically changes your carrier to um, whatever you want. And see, I've got it as the Formula One uh, and theme, uh, Formula, I'm sorry, logo. And I also have, I've got, I've downloaded a pack that offers me all or a lot of the car logos. Uh, you can literally download packs for pretty much any, any icon uh, possible and um, like the ones that come with the application uh, is the ones here and I think that's it, oh Space Invaders and Stormtrooper and Superman and a couple of here but they're the ones that come with and then obviously you can get uh, different packs um, different packs that you are able to have different things to uh, change the carrier from iPod, iPhone or iPad or something like that to uh, whatever you're wanting. Next tweak is Springtimize. You've probably heard this also. Uh, this basically is a extremely good tweak that it lets you change pretty much everything. See animation, you can change how long animations are you can change the uh, colour um, of your screen now, so taking out green I obviously have to um, reload or respring the device for these effects to go through but um, you're just able to change so much, like here you've got an old TV animation where uh, when, you're, when you lock your device it will kind of go off in um, an old TV style um, you can also change like the colour of the flash when you take a screenshot. Um, you're moving on to the next one, capabilities. You just, I'm not entirely sure exactly what this is because it doesn't give much description. Um, but I've noticed that uh, with some tweaks I've got on, they do interfere with um, others, meaning they don't work. So here I've had to enable multitasking because when I had OXO, I had to enable that uh, because every time I went to multitasking it would go into safe mode. But So I'm not entirely sure what that is. Next one is dock. You can change the number of icons available to put on the dock. See I've got seven. I've actually got five. But if I... I can actually put a lot more, you know, onto. But I'll just leave it as that. Um... You can also change the to high shadow, high reflection, label dock, uh, so you can have the dock all together. And also you can have a cover flow effect, which um, is the effect that's on uh, music on the old iTunes um, that you may be able to see there. It's quite hard to see. Anyway, um, next one, lock screen. Uh, you, you can decide to have your notification center uh, display the seconds on the time. You can show that it's well show that it's always charging, which I don't really see the point of. Um, always show wallpaper. Disable um, camera button. You know, um, you can change to hide the uh, thing that you you use to drag hair. I forgot what it's called. Slider. Um, you can also uh, customize the label. I've just got slide unlock because of. I don't know why I've got that now. Oh no, it's off anyway. But if I turn that on, I can type pretty much whatever I want. Um, but obviously, I would have to respring the device for it to load up, so I might as well just leave that. Uh, next one is icons. This uh, able this gives you ability to change the amount of icons in per row and how many rows you have. Uh, but also, you can also resize. And hide. So here, there's the obvious ones like hide newsstand and hide the spring to my shortcut. And then obviously you can go through and select um, any app, any uh, apps that you want to hide, which I've got quite, and maybe not. Just the ones that you don't really want. You can also change the fact that where if you get a badge. Um, 
for uh, say on the app store for an update you can also disable all badges or whatever and also you can have the effect to, to double tap it and it will disappear you can also search um, but you have to do select for in, for particular icons for that to work with next one is folders um, this uh, this basically well you can read it here but um, you're able to change the amount of icons in uh, per uh, per line and obviously you can go up to 10 um, you can be able to auto close when I'm presuming that's when you come out of an app um, with a folder open it will just automatically close you can create uh, folders in dark uh, hide background disable animation to obviously make it quicker um, hide preview and what whatnot the next one is app switcher it's basically uh, you can change thing on the multitasking uh, thing where for example uh, putting the iPod uh, display up first same badges brightness slider and uh, custom number of icons next one is time machine this is basically uh, doing a backup of the settings on um, spring to mize so obviously you can and you can also restore from them so if I just press save this will just save um, what I've done so far and all the settings I've done on here well maybe not it's actually also it's wallpaper and icon state so that's position of icons presuming okay pages here you can disable the spotlight which is the uh, searching of apps music and also shortcuts to search online um, then disable paging which I'm presuming is meaning you can't actually page I don't see the point in that and hiding the dots which would be there which just over the city icon next one was theming this is I'm not actually done anything here uh, not exactly looked into it that much but obviously you can change there's specific themes you can get for your obviously your dock which I've got uh, custom batteries uh, icon labels um, oh right this is changing the font and the size of the font of the icon labels and seems and the wallpaper image effects so I'm presuming you can just change the effects of what the wallpaper gives and also the lock screen. Next one is notification center. This you can disable just as a whole. You can also use a custom background. I've got the blur or blurred and there's transparent and default. Um, then you can have instant clear which I'm presuming will just instantly clear it as you get. You open it um, then you have the custom lines which um, I don't know if this is just to specific apps like the mail where when you drag it down you have a amount of lines that it displays of the email or message or whatever I'm not quite sure about that one and then there's more um, pretty self explanatory here as you can see just checking for updates documentations not quite sure. Uh, that's just about the uh, app as a whole. Um, assuming you can select. Oh right, this is just looking at all what you've downloaded so far, and just presuming turning on and off. And I don't know. We haven't really looked at this, but yeah, it's all here. <laughs> okay, my next one is going to be Bolt. This just takes the battery icon from the status bar uh, away, but also when you um, uh, also when you put your charger in, it will have a electric or bolt icon in the corner. And obviously here, as you saw, you can have you can change the battery percentage, which you can do already on iDevices. I think actually, I think it's just available for iPhones. I think I'm presuming here. 
Um, but yeah, that's Bolt. Okay. Okay, my favourite theme is called Blooming HD. Um, this uh, is done through Winterboard, like most themes. Um, and this just changes the icon, so you see uh, clock, ca um, calculator, iPod, Cydia changed a bit, uh, settings, you know, quite a few changed. Um, this, I just like the kind of plain effects it gives. Uh, there's nothing special about it. It doesn't do anything to the lock screen, as you can see. Um, but... I just like the effects it gives the icons. If you're wanting any of these tweaks or themes, um, or theme, just one, that I show in this video, just get, um, you can get all these for free using uh, Insanely I Repo, or repo.insanelyi.com. Uh, the link or spelling or whatever will be in the description of this video. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.